Beep, beep, everybody. Um, well, I was in a Walmart in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, uh, quite a long ways from home. We were actually at antique malls, and uh, hopefully I'll get this uh, video posted before November is over. Everybody else is opening up this right at the time, and this was the last blaster box they had of uh, 2022 Tops Update. Uh, so this is the first one I've acquired. Uh, I thought about buying a hobby box off the Tops website. They were $79.99. And then I th thought and thought, and then I just you know, got distracted by the usual stuff. And I went back and it was sold out. So I don't know if I'm going to bother buying a hobby box of this or not. I might just buy blaster boxes and hanger boxes and try to complete the update set that way. Because um, as you know, this does update does not come out in a factory sealed uh, set like the uh, Series 1 and Series 2 do. Uh, so the only way to complete this is by opening up packs. And <laughs> if you can't get there quite quite all the way you're left uh, buying the rest of it as singles um, either at your local card shop or uh, on eBay or wherever you can find good prices on those so this is what the the box looks like and uh, it says seven packs plus one exclusive commemorative relic card <laughs> I'm not too thrilled about those. Look for exclusive Royal Blue Base Card Parallels. There's 99 total cards in the box, so we're going to go through quite a few. Oh, it's another Batting Helmet card. Ugh. I don't know. I don't think too much of those. I'd rather have uh, game-used uh, memorabilia. I think that's a lot more interesting. Um, here are your odds. So you may pause the video at this point to have a look at those. I'm going to hold it for a couple more seconds. And we're going to shoot up. And here's the no purchase necessary information if your uh, hope is to do things that way. Uh, so I'll leave that there. And let's open it up, everybody. <coughs> oh, let's... Uh, whoop. Whoop. Beep. 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 Whoops. Beep, beep. Wait, this is really, really in there. Well, this is just jam-packed. I hope the cards are okay. Uh, I worry about it when they're really in there tight. There's a good chance somebody could uh, really rattle around the box and... End up with corner dings, but so far it looks okay. So we have uh, Stars of MLB Austin Riley. Okay, that must be the back of the pack. Mackenzie Gore, rookie debut. As I understand it, there's a lot of good rookie cards in here. Uh, I guess I'll put that in that pile. There's Chris Bryant. Uh, <laughs> you say Kikuchi. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Dodgers all-time strikeouts leader. That's Clayton Kershaw. Zach Greinke. Uh, Japan legends reunite. And that is uh, Seiya Suzuki and um, Tsutsugo. What's that? Yoshi Tsutsugo. Uh, Logan Webb. Uh, rookie combos, that's Kirk McCarty and Tanner Tully. I'm not familiar with either one of them. Manny Pena. Jack Suwinski rookie card. Michael Lorenzen. Eric Thames. Alec Thomas rookie card. And Stars of MLB, Austin Riley. So nothing real amazing yet. Well, it looks like we have something good here. That's supposed to be on the back. So we'll flip it around. Pretend you didn't see that. So we got Jace Peterson. Jorge Soler. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie. That's nice. Blake Trinan, 
Daniel Norris, Will Smith, I guess we'll have to flip these over, Nick Castellanos, Say is his <laughs> mouthful. Say a Suzuki rookie card. It must be the combination of S's that tripped up my mouth. Nick Pavetta. Uh, Noah Syndergaard. And that is, uh, I think that's a short print because it was upside down. The number is two, five, eight, or nine. And yeah, two, four, one. So this is a short print for Noah Syndergaard. Um, I guess we'll put that up here. I don't know what kind of a short print it is. It's either an SP or an SSP or an SSSSSSSSSSSP. Not sure. Oh, well, this is great. Say a Suzuki rookie card, but in the Stars of MLB Tops Chrome version. And uh, we'll need to check that out. Um, I think those were one in beep beep okay i'm trying to find this do 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 i'm sure you'll want to fast forward through this point i'm not seeing it on the odds bit those were on listed on the odds for series one and series two so i thought they would be listed here here we go. Star, Stars of MLB Chrome is one out of every 10 packs. Not a real big deal, but hey, not bad. Generation Now, rookie card for Ronzi Contreras. Uh, Miguel Cabrera. This may be, uh, no, it isn't. It's, it's Albert that's retired. And Stars of MLB, rookie card of Spencer Torkelson. One of the three major rookies from the season. Although there were several others that I don't think got their their due. Like, um, well, I can't remember his name. Plays for Houston. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy something. I, I, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll see his card. So there's a Vidal Brujan rookie card. Stars of MLB. We'll flip this around. Abisal Garcia. Joan Duran, rookie card. Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, Brian Lavas La <laughs> Lavastida. Lavastida? La Lavastida. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Brian, leave a comment. That's your rookie card. Carlos Correa. Uh, Bradley Zimmer. MJ Melendez rookie card uh, or rookie debut card. One last dance. That is um, Pujols and Molina. And it was, what is that? Uh, who's that with them? Is that Adam Wainwright? I'm not sure. That's a nice one. Corey Kluber. Carlos Rodon, who's letting out a giant belch. And that belch has produced a little bit of stain here on his shirt. Shane Bass, rookie debut. Tommy Pham. <laughs> He's doing something with his hands. I'm not sure what. Steven Matz, who's burping after the delivery of his pitch. So I'm glad that Topps is continuing this burp motif. Um... It's really helping my burp collection get better. I got I got to remember to open these up the other way around. I wonder why they have that uh, that card showing that way on the bottom. Gab Gabriel Arias rookie card. There's Yu Chang, and Brad Miller, dancing in Detroit. I'm not sure who that. Is. Javier Baez and Robbie Grossman. <clears throat> Aaron uh, Savali. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Aaron, leave a comment. Cole Salser. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to clear my throat there. Uh, rookie combos. Sean, oh boy. How do you pronounce HJ? <laughs> One of those must be silent, I'm thinking. So I'm going to say Sean Gel and Junior, Junior Marte. 
Boston Flex, that's Devers and Enrique Hernandez. Andrew Stevenson. And there's Matt Brash, rookie rookie debut card. Uh, Julius Chassin. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right. We got a rainbow foil of Sean Doolittle. I don't know who Sean Doolittle is. Well, Sean Doolittle's been around for quite a while. Looks like he was a closer a number of years back. And Bryson Stott, rookie card on the 87 Tops design. That's a nice one. And stars of MLB of Yu Darvish. Beep, beep. Well, I guess there's no way to open this without seeing the, the back. There's a Reed Detmer's rookie card on Stars of MLB. That's a nice one. Uh, Harold Ramirez. George Kirby rookie debut. Drew Smiley. Stephen Duggar. Joe Smith. Uh, rookie combos, Alexis Diaz and Daniel Duarte. Another rookie combos card. This is Dylan Coleman and Colin Snyder. Uh, Ramiel Tapia. <laughs> Check out that. That's pretty cool. It almost looks like he, he touched a, what are those things called? A Vandergraaff generator that sticks your hair up in the air. I think that's pretty cool. 100 career home runs. Otani, Amir Garrett, Denelson Lamey, uh, E. Hire Adrianza. Boy, the, the, I'm having all kinds of pronunciation issues. That is, um, uh, what do they call these? Uh, it's four out of 99. See up there. Um, there's Vladdy Guerrero Jr. on the All Star game card, ASG3. So that must be a separate insert set. Let me check. Um, no, that's the wrong box. <laughs> beep, beep. Um, it's sort of vintage stock. One out of 297 for vintage stock because it doesn't have that uh, glossy feel. It feels more like uh, cardboard than, than white card stock. So... E. Hire Adrian's a four out of 99. Okay, Nathan, scoot over a little bit. We'll put this up here. It's too bad that wasn't some bigger name player. So far, I'm guessing uh, the top hit we have is probably the Noah Syndergaard, I'm guessing. Anthony Rizzo, stars of MLB. All right, I keep going around like this. Joe Ryan, rookie debut. Alan Dickerson. Roberto Perez. Rene Pinto, rookie card. Geraldo Perdomo. Uh, Desert Cool-Off. Marte gets the shower after walk-off. Okay. Ron Mar Marinaccio, rookie card. That's a name I have not heard of. Tim Locastro, completely in the air. That's a nice photo. Jacob Stallings. Hunter Green rookie card. Let me check out Hunter Green. Okay, just has minor league numbers. Caleb Thielbar. Simon Muziati rookie card. And a die cut card of Alex Rodriguez. Not numbered. And this has our big ass helmet in it. So we have a Stars of MLB Kyle Tucker on the back here. Let's just flip this around and work our way backwards there. Kyle Schwarber. Spencer Torkelson rookie card. So we got two of his rookie cards in here. Ryan Tapera. Steven Vogt. George Kirby rookie card, and Josh Harrison. He's got one of those things that looks like an oven mitt too. 
wonder what's up with that. <laughs> Rookie combos of Tanner Banks and Bennett Sousa. Stars collide. New teammates focus before opening day. That is Byron Buxton and Carlos Correa. Picture perfect. That has Manny Machado and Jurickson Profar. <laughs> Chris Archer has is doing such an amazing, gigantic belch that his shirts come undone. <laughs> Nick Plummer rookie card, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, Jose Miranda rookie card, and our helmet card is Chris Bryant, and it is a thick. Thick ass card. <laughs> it stands up on its own. And Kyle Tucker, stars of MLB. So that's my first blaster box of 2022 Tops update. Uh, I can't believe I've gone on for 16 minutes. I guess I went through it rather slowly. Um, I apologize for that. I, sometimes I get distracted. I think it was spending all that time looking up the odds on the box every time something came along. Uh, maybe I should have done some research before filming, but I tend to like to open these up blind so I have no idea what, uh, what, what to anticipate and everything becomes a surprise. Like we did when we were kids opening up packs. Remember those? I didn't do any research when I was opening up 81 Tops or 80 Tops or 81 Fleer or 82 Fleer. No research at all. It was every pack was just an adventure and a surprise you never knew what you were going to get you, well back then they didn't have all these inserts but still anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh, let me know what you think of 2022 tops update um i think i could have had a better blaster box than this uh, i think I, I think i was hoping for something a little more than what i got from here uh, but i probably will buy a couple more of these so that i can at least complete the base set uh, so hopefully they'll be in the stores. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to order them on eBay or or maybe they'll have them on Target's website or something like that. We'll see. So everybody take care. You all have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more weird stuff. Beep, beep, everybody. <laughs>